Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today I'm going to show you how to use Angry IP Scanner to scan your network for devices uh, and computers. This is useful if you want to know what devices and computers are on your network and what the IP addresses are or if you're looking for a particular IP address for a uh, particular device or computer because you need to configure it and you need to know the IP address. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to angryip.org, this web page right here. You're going to download and install Angry IP Scanner. It's fairly straightforward, so I'm not going to go through installing it. Just download and install uh, the version you need. After you've installed it and brought it up, this is what Angry IP Scanner looks like. And uh, you can leave all this stuff as defaults right here. You can actually specify a particular range if you have a huge network or something. But this will put the default range in there. And so generally you don't need to mess with this unless you're on a huge network. If you're at home or on a smaller network, you can leave this stuff alone right here. The one thing you may want to adjust though is this little icon here, which is called Fetchers. And Fetchers is the information that it's fetching or uh, when it queries the device. So there are a bunch of different attributes you can use here. One is the MAC address, which I'm not going to select for this demo, but if you're looking for the MAC address, you may want to select that. The few that you may want to select to kind of give you clues to what the devices are is uh, HTTP sender, NetBIOS info, and uh, MAC vendor. Mac vendor will actually give you um, the uh, company that created the device, or at least created the card that's in the device. So, so if the uh, device responds back with these extra things, it actually helps you figure out uh, what the device is. Uh, the other thing I'm going to put in is uh, Web Detect. Then I'm going to hit OK, and uh, so. Now all we need to do is hit start. It takes about a minute or so for it to run through and find all of the devices depending on how large uh, the network is. And so then it brings up this uh, completed window here which tells you the range that it scanned, how many hosts it scanned, how many hosts is found alive, and uh, how many with open ports. So I'm going to close this now. And you'll see over here to the left uh, where the IP address is, there are dots. There are green dots, blue dots, and red dots. The red dots indicate it didn't find anything, so there's either no device or computer there, or that uh, device is offline or has been disconnected from the network. Uh, so like if somebody has a laptop on the network and they turn it off and take it someplace else, it may show up as red and it's not going to scan it because it's not there. Or if there's a computer that's been turned off or a device that's been turned off, it won't find the IP address because it's not, it's no longer responding at all to that IP address. If you get a green uh, dot next to it, it means it found the device and the device responded as it would expect. Uh, if you get a blue, it indicates that it found a device, but the device was either busy or didn't respond or didn't re respond to certain uh, of the uh, data that it was looking for. So to get this sorted so that we have the red kind of at the bottom and the blue and the green up towards the top, one thing we can do is we can left click on ports over here and go sort by ports because uh, it has NS uh, next to the ports on IP addresses that uh, are uh, not active. And if it's a port that's an active port or if an active IP address, it will put NA for non-applicable if it doesn't find a, an open port. Uh, so, and for the greens where it found a, a port or ports, it lists the ports that it found. So, now if you look at the data over here, we can see that some of these things have host names, which will give us a clue to what the device is. Uh, but the other thing that we have here is uh, NetBIOS info, which will give us uh, a, uh, it should give us a, a uh, 
work group name or uh, a domain name next to this and it will give us a machine name if one exists but the mac vendor actually has what the device uh, who the device was made by or the card in the device so like if it's a netgear here for example we see amazon down here so these are amazon devices down here uh, so th those can give you clues as well the web tech gives us some clue of what's going on for instance shows here that an apache server is running on these devices right here uh, so that gives you uh, a list of uh, the uh, devices that are currently on, on turned on on your network and that are available and so uh, one thing that you can actually do is you can go over here to scan up here and you can export all the results or export a selection of results and to get a selection we just go over to, to tools and go to selection and then we can go uh, we can select a live hosts which select all the ones that are live or we can go back up here and we could select uh, the dead hosts or the ones with open ports the ones without uh, open ports and so on and so the ones that we have selected we can go here and then we can go uh, export all and it will give us a uh, a uh, save dialog here so we can save this as a text file so we can go back and look at it later or keep it as a record so that's how you scan IP addresses on your network if you need to find out a uh, device or computer IP address uh, or what addresses are there I'm Dean, and this has been Dino's Tech World, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.